Welcome to Entaver Institute's video, How to Model Cost Risk for Monte Carlo Analysis. We are going to be taking a detailed look at how costs are calculated and how to apply risks and uncertainties to your cost model for Monte Carlo Risk Analysis. In Risky Project, costs can be divided into two main categories. Fixed costs. Fixed costs can be used to represent any costs and are not time related due to resource allocation. Typically, they will represent costs that are not related to specific resources. Resource costs. Resource costs are based on the hourly rates or cost per use of resources assigned to activities. Resource costs can be used to calculate time dependent costs using resource rates. Cost type resources are a special case as there are a way of allocating costs to a specific activity and are a hybrid method that shares characteristics of both fixed costs and resource costs. When creating a cost risk model, we can apply two types of risk to our costs, uncertainty and risk events. Uncertainty is characterized by three-point estimates, low, most likely, and high, combined with a statistical distribution. Uncertainty can be applied to both duration and cost for the purpose of cost analysis. Risk events are also sometimes re referred to as risk drivers and are characterized by a probability of occurrence and impacts. For cost risk analysis, both fixed cost and schedule impacts can be used. Uncertainties in fixed costs. Here we show how we can apply uncertainty to a fixed cost. The base or most likely cost is $1,000. The low or optimistic is $950 and the high or pessimistic is $1,100. A visual representation of these estimates with a triangular statistical distribution is shown on the left. On the right, we can see the results of an analysis using two different types of statistical distributions. Different distributions can affect statistical measures like standard deviation. On the top example, we can see that the triangular distribution has fatter tails, or the results have a higher probability of landing farther from the most likely value than in the log normal distribution. Risk events and fixed costs. Risk events are risks that are found in the risk register. They have a probability of occurring and an impact. Probabilities are between 0 and 100%. Impacts can be fixed or relative, a percentage of the base cost. Impacts can be a discrete value or can be modeled as an uncertainty with a range of values defined by a statistical distribution. In the first example with a discrete impact, the risk appears as a single bar in the histogram. In the second example, with a ranged impact, the risk appears as a small distribution to the right of the base estimate. As we can see, the way we choose to model the risk can have a significant impact on the results. Work cost calcula calculation. Work is the fundamental unit of the time-dependent cost calculation. Work is a function of the resource allocation. Resource units indicates the level of allocation or the percent of the activity duration that the resource will be working for on an activity. For the purpose of this discussion, we are using the commonly used fixed unit task type, which keeps resource allocations or units fixed and recalculates work if duration is modified. We will discuss the appropriate use of other task types in a future video. In this example, we can see how the base cost for a resource assigned to a task is calculated. If we lowered the max units to 50%, the work performed by the resource over the same period would be reduced, reduced to 20 hours at a cost of $2,000. The other thing to take note of is that if the duration changes, work and therefore resource costs are adjusted accordingly. In this way, resources can be used to model time-dependent costs. Time-dependent resource costs. Work-based resource costs can be risked as part of an integrated approach of cost and schedule and risk analysis. Both schedule uncertainty and risk events 
impact work based on resource costs. In these examples, we show how schedule uncertainty and risks are presented on a combined histogram and cumulative probability chart. Rate risks. Work-based risk can also be affected by non-schedule risks. These are called rate increase risks, where we can apply either relative or fixed impacts to the resource rate. In this way, you can account for uncertainty in labor rates. As with the previous examples, we can see the results of the rate uncertainty on the probable cost of the activity. Rate risks are assigned in the Resources Information Dialog Box Risk tab. Once the risk is being assigned to the resource, the risk is applied or broadcasted to all of the activities to which the resource is assigned. Material cost calculation. Another type of resource are material costs. Material costs are not based on work and therefore not time dependent. Material resource costs are calculated on a rate per unit. For example, in a particular activity, you could have a material cost of X amount per ton. The material resource is assigned to an activity with a unit value. The cost is then allocated to the activity based on the rate and the unit value. Material risks. Material costs are treated similarly as fixed costs when it comes to risk events. Material costs can be risked using the outcome type fixed cost increase. Relative cost increase outcome types does not work in this case. In this example, we can see how we can apply a range of possible rates for the material and its presentation on the chart. In addition, if you're using cost type resources, which are similar to material costs, cost type resources can be risked for each specific activity using the same method. Thank you for watching our video on cost modeling for Monte Carlo risk analysis. Please visit our site at intaver.com to learn more about risk analysis and our upcoming videos and webinars. If you are interested in finding out more about decision analysis and risk management, a list of our publications and a variety of resources can be found at our website, projectdecisions.org.